Hello, everyone. Welcome to your restorative yoga practice today. My name is Kremia Rabajiva, if we are meeting for the very first time. And I'm super excited to share this practice with you. Now, this is going to be a wonderful practice if you're feeling stressed or anxious, if you're experiencing an overactive mind or thoughts, or if you're feeling emotional and you know, really looking to uh, connect to and perhaps even release something on the emotional space. Now, I know that it's a little overwhelming to perhaps see props, but I promise you these props are here to support you. And I am happy to share with you what we'll need today. And of course, I do have normal household items, so you don't need to have any particular yoga props um, uh, first, we're going to really start with this bolster. Now, this is a yoga bolster. If you don't have a yoga bolster, again, totally cool. This is a home practice. I did want to show you, you can also use a pillow. I do recommend a pillow on the firmer end, um, but really any pillow will do. And then I have a, a blanket here. Um, you might want to have a few blankets depending on your practice. Um, so, you know, the more the merrier, right? And then I have two yoga blocks. And if you don't have yoga blocks, totally cool. Uh, a good substitute for that will be thicker books as well. Or if you don't have anything of that sort, anything like a smaller couch pillows, such as the ones I have behind me, are going to be perfect for what we're doing today. So once you have all of your props, and again, please uh, try your best to gather them. They're here to support you, right? So uh, restorative yoga is all about being physically, emotionally, and mentally supported. And we use props to help us do that. So we're gonna start in a reclined Supta Baddha Konasana, which is a reclined cobbler's pose. Um, for that posture, you're gonna need one bolster, one blanket and two blocks. And of course, again, if you don't have those particular things, feel free to use the substitutions that I mentioned. And so we'll start by taking either that bolster or your uh, larger pillow, and we'll put it long ways on the mat and then placing that blanket on top of the bolster. Now I'm gonna turn away from the bolster I'm going to bring the soles of my feet together and permission to wear some nice, fuzzy, comfy socks um, in case you do get cold. And as I have my soles of the feet together, I'm going to bring in my blocks or my books or my pillows and place them at the outer edges of um, my knees here. So really allowing them to snuggle up. And then from here, Use your palms to gently melt your back body over the support of that bolster, of that blanket. And if you do have an extra blanket here, you can place that blanket on top of your body. And that is actually really grounding and nice for the nervous system itself. And once you're comfortable here, just allow yourself to relax into the support of your prop. So if you feel your body is holding on, see if you can just allow it to soften gently. Noticing how you're feeling in the physical body, noticing any areas of tension or any areas of relaxation. And just being an observer here. And with your eyes closed, just bringing your awareness to any particular emotions that you may be arriving with in this practice. And if you've been to any of my classes, this phrase will sound familiar, but permission to be human, my friends, permission 
to be exactly where you are in this moment and not where you feel like you have to be. So any feelings, any emotions that are coming up for you are welcome here. Once you've taken a moment to settle into your emotional space, notice any particular thoughts that may be rising for you. And again, no need to follow any particular thought, instead just allowing them to rise up and to fall in and out of your awareness, not feeling like you have to do anything about them or act upon them, just becoming that observer. Beautiful, my friends. And once you've taken a moment to really settle into your experience here, bring your awareness into your belly and just begin to take a few deep belly breaths. Inhaling into the belly, noticing the belly rise and expand. And as you exhale, notice the belly contract in towards the spine. And if your mind begins to wander, that's okay. This happens to all of us. But the moment you notice it wandering, see if you can bring it back. Bring it back into your body, bring it back into your breath. This practice is so much about this constant coming back to the present moment. And this is my go-to practice whenever I'm feeling stressed or anxious or emotional or just overwhelmed with the monkey mind. I'm taking a moment to really slow down and open through the body in a supported way. It allows us to activate our parasympathetic nervous system, which is our center of resting and digesting. And on the topic of digestion, it not only helps us digest food, but also experiences that may have happened to us throughout our day, or emotions or thoughts that we may be feeling. So when we take the time and create the space to sit for a few minutes, it's truly like, emptying anything that no longer serves from our being. But before we can even do that, we have to notice it. So in this moment, really take that first step of noticing exactly where you are and what you're experiencing and give yourself permission to be exactly where you are. Using the breath as a tool to anchor you into exactly where you are.
Beautiful, my friends. And now for some of us, this may be extremely comfortable and maybe we don't even want to move. If that's the case for you, you definitely don't have to move, my friends. Stay exactly where you are in this restorative posture through the end of our class. But if you would like to transition into a restorative Shavasana, just go ahead and follow the sound of my voice. And so bring your palms at the outer knees and then using the palms, bring the knees together. Take any props that you may have out of the way and slowly roll off of your pillow and or bolster. So this much safer way of getting out of this posture than just jerking up and you know potentially hurting the spine. So once you're finding yourself in a seated position, we'll go ahead and bring our bolster and or our pillow towards the bottom of the mat this time. You don't necessarily need any blocks, so you can feel free to move those out of the way. And then perhaps keeping your blanket as a pillow at the top of the mat here. So from here, we drape our knees over the bolster and or pillow. And if you don't have either, either of those, you can also roll up uh, a blanket into a little burrito and then place that under your knees. And then gently using your palms and your forearms to bring you down into this restorative Shavasana posture here. Again, permission to place another blanket on top of the body. It, it can be really nice and helpful for the nervous system. And then having some sort of support under your knees uh, creates a deeper low back release for your body. And once you've settled into your Shavasana, just begin to close the eyes again. And continue to breathe deeply into your belly. Noticing the belly expand with each and every inhalation. And as you exhale, contract the belly towards the spine. And if it feels good for you, you can place one hand on the heart, one hand on the belly, and breathe in this way too. And if you ever get to a place where you don't know what to do, turn to the breath. Take some deep breaths. And relax body and mind first and foremost. And as you continue to breathe in this way, just visualize that with each and every inhalation, you're breathing in fresh energy, fresh air, fresh oxygen, and allowing it to move through each and every nook and cranny, muscle, bone, ligament, joint of your body infusing and renewing your body, your energy, your whole experience. And with each and every exhalation, visualize yourself exhaling stress, tension, self-limiting beliefs, anything that no longer serves your highest good in this moment, 
just visualize those things leaving your body through the power of that exhalation. And through that power, perhaps imagining your body melt even deeper into the support underneath you. Beautiful, my friends, and we'll all inhale deeply through the nose, filling the whole of the lungs with air, and open your mouth, exhale, sigh something out. Two more deep breaths, just like this. Final breath, make it count. Perhaps the deepest breath you've taken all day. <sighs> Let it go, my friend. And of course, you can choose to stay in this practice for as long as you'd like. Feel free to just pause the video and rest. But for those of you that feel satiated, we'll go ahead and transition away from this practice. And to do so, perhaps bring your knees in towards the chest Give yourself a big hug and permission to think of one thing that you love about yourself. And this can be anything. It can be your compassion or kindness towards others, your hardworking tendencies, whatever it is, just allow yourself to connect with that quality that you love about yourself. And then slowly roll off to either the right or the left side. And gently with your eyes still closed, use your palms to bring you up to a seated position. Bring your palms together at the heart. Connect to this beautiful beating of your heart to the sensation of what it means to be alive in this moment, in this body. Bringing the thumbs up to the forehead, to the third eye. Namaste, my friends. Have an awesome rest of your day, everyone. I'm sending you all so much love and compassion.